I thought this style in which the Bruins were going to play this year, defensive, relying on two great goalies, was more conducive to a longer playoff run than last year's team, which was a fireworks show. You had scores all over the ice. It was exciting. You were breaking records left and right in a regular season. I get it. But when you got to the playoffs, you got hit in the mouth by the Panthers. That's why I say the players cannot be thinking of this as revenge. You just can't do it. You're a different team. You're tougher. You play better defense than that team last year. I think this team has a better shot against the Panthers. Now, the issue, as I say, this is not the same Panthers for, or the same Bruins from last year. This is not the same Panthers from last year either. Mm-hmm. That team underachieved last year, got hot at the right time. Ugh, sorry, Bruins, right? And then we saw them go all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. This Panthers team was not messing around all year long. They Best meant defense business. in the NHL, man. Bro, they meant business wire to wire. Defense, offense, toughness, coaching. Check, 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 check. Home ice. And they, they weren't healthy. all. And they weren't healthy to start the season. Got That's right. healthy. Got healthy. And, bro, look, we've watched a lot of hockey all year. And I've said this. This is the most complete hockey team, the Florida Panthers I'm talking about, that I've seen all year long. And I'm talking about Monsters out west. I'm talking about the New York Rangers out east. These are major teams, we're saying. The Florida Panthers, for what I saw with thine eyes all year, this is the most complete hockey team, and here we are. (sighs) My gut says this is not going to end well for the Bruins. Now, you have a hot goalie in Swayman, and we could talk about how do you balance those Scorching two. Scorching hot and sway. Scorching hot and sway. Ultimate Best confidence playoff, right now. Yeah. Defense playing well. Mm-hmm. Pasta looks like he's got some momentum. You have got to play perfect hockey in this series to knock off the Florida Panthers, and then you have to hope they make some mistakes. The edge I give to the Bruins in this when I try and think of it is the style and games they just won. And yes. how we saw especially the last four games of the first round yes. go down with low scoring. Right. That was the second best offense in the NHL. Yeah. Now you're going to face the best defense and goals allowed yep. per game yep. in the NHL regular season they in the have Panthers. Everything. And you know what the Panthers are going to do? Pressure whoever has a puck, even in their own defensive zone or their own offensive zone, sure. depending where it is, right? Yep. Just cause chaos. Keep bringing that four check throw their weight around, yeah. and have defensemen come up and just pepper the goalie with shots, get in deep, and just score dirty goals. Yes. Wait for a rebound, bounce, falls right in front of them, and make it pay off. And you even think about their two top lines, Tarasenko, Barkov, Reinert, that second line, Verhage, Lundell, Kachuk. Oh. They could get Sam Bennett back. That'll bump Anton Lydell to the That's third line. hell. Hampus Lindholm, Brandon Carlo, Charlie McAvoy, Mason yeah. Larai. How does Jim Montgomery, again, he has to be on his P's and Q's. He does. And Paul Maurice, in the head coach of the Panthers, is good. It's just how deep this Panthers team yeah, is. They're tough. And what they do to have opportunities in high danger area, but also cash them in. They had 10 goals in the first round from a high danger area. So when they dismantled their first round opponent. And all the talk, though, and I keep going, oh, what's Bobrovsky going to be? What's Anthony Stoller? So brought. Bobrovsky, 915 save percentage, six shutouts regular season. Bro. Stollers, 925 save percentage over 27 games. They're complete, George. They don't allow you to get opportunities. Yeah. They beat you down, and they keep the puck in your own yes. zone. So they help those guys out who aren't the best goalies. But if you don't get chances to even shoot on them, yeah. they're going to be the best goalies in the world and be victorious. That's right. So, but I, I just come back to there has to be something said, A, about how good Jeremy Swayman played, but B, what the Bruins are able to do against one of the best offenses, if not the best offense in the NHL. Yeah, I agree. But listen, here's the thing. This defense of the Panthers is so good. I just have to imagine they're going to come in and say, we're taking away your strength right away. David That's Pasternak. David Pasternak, right? They're and gonna do, They're going to do the same thing the Leafs did. Right. Be physical, same thing. hit him on the board. But, but he doesn't even, get into, even get into the neutral right. zone untouched. They're going to keep him on his ass. But probably even more, they're going to execute even better than the Maple Leafs did. And the Maple Leafs yeah. did a tremendous job all series long. That wasn't a defensive team, and look what they did. That's right. The key here is has to be the ancillary pieces, those guys you named. I mean, if we're looking at keys to the series. It has to be Lindholm again. It has, it has to, to be DeBrus. Yes. Mm-hmm. Charlie Coyle, can I get you to step up? We. It's got to be someone else stepping up. And doing some scoring here because you're not going to get a ton of opportunities as you laid out 
to even get shots on these guys. Mm -hmm. So whoever's there, you got to make it count. You can't have mistakes. You can't. You got to avoid the power play at all costs. Look, you have to steal one of these two, whether it's tonight or game two. You got to steal one in Florida. We know how good the bees are at home. I have confidence in the bees at home. But when you go into their building, George, you got to get one of these. Mm -hmm. You must right away. If it's game one, great. All of us can exhale a little bit. Takes Mm -hmm. a little pressure off game two. But you must get one of these in Florida, or this is going to be a short series. If they go down 0-2, coming back here, this is going to be short. I'm telling you, this Panthers team is no joke. They are better than they were last year, and they went to the damn finals last year. What, this team could win the finals. What does concern me is the Bruins are terrible in five-on-five scoring opportunities. Power play was clicking, but they never had a lot of power play opportunities. Yeah. They literally have a negative goal differential in five-on-five play, and they advanced. No. But it showed what the power play would pull through, 35.3% of that first round. Obviously, what Jeremy Swayman did as well. Sway's goals allowed expected was yes. 19.8. He let, he let up nine goals the entire first round. <laughs> It's crazy. That like that's just absurd. But that shows <laughs> the good looks, the high danger chances. Yeah. The high quality shots that the Leafs were getting off, but how good Jeremy Swayman was playing. But can he do that again for seven games? Yeah, what do you do? To pull here? off four wins. It comes down to you have to play physical. You can't get bullied. I mean, you're going to end up playing the Panthers game. I'm saying a goal. You can't play oh, you stick with Jeremy Swayman. No, no questions asked. Game one. Uh right. look, Linus was good. Yeah. Jeremy Swayman was all time in that first round. He was. And, and I am the one, if you could get Swayman rest mentally, physically, yeah, right? Yeah. Give it to him. Not game one, though. But he's locked in right yeah, now. Not we game did, one. We didn't see we did not see game seven end four three, five four. That's right. Three two. Which I thought it would be. I thought right? I thought we were headed for a four three with Austin Matthews back in. I'll go into this. Jeremy Swayman last month and a half of the regular season. Yeah. Twelve games. 905 save percentage, 2.6 goals allowed average. Seven of those starts, three or more goals allowed. Mm. This postseason in six games, 950 save percentage, one and a half goals allowed, four starts with 28 plus saves. Wow. There are 11 goalies with five plus games played in these playoffs. He's the only one with a sub two goals allowed average. That's how good he played. Leads remaining goalies in time on ice because of the overtime games. Save percentage, goals allowed. And he's 10.9 goals saved above expected. I said he was supposed to let up almost 20 goals in that first round. Right. He only allowed nine. Woo. That's against the second best offense in the regular season. Right. There's no way you take him out of net right now. He is clicking. He did it on the road. He did it at home. He did it with two days rest, one day's rest. Yes. He did it after overtime, after regulation. He was nails all the way through. Yeah. And think about, he could have only allowed eight goals because think about that one goal the Leafs got. Again, awful turnover in your own zone. Yep. As Austin Matthews and William Nylander doing what they do. Linus was good in his one start. He was. But Swayman is so locked in, there's no way you should go away from him to start the series against the Panthers. You need your best players on the ice. Yep. And right now, Jeremy Swayman is the best player on the Boston Bruins. I completely agree. Comma. As I said, these players should not be focused on revenge in this series, right? The one guy no. I'll give a pass to is Linus Olmark. Here's why. You know, everyone jumped on him and, and Jim Montgomery. Yeah. You, oh, well, you should have made the switch sooner should've. and went to Swayman Game sooner. Five, man. Fine, hindsight 2020. But no one ever brings up Linus Olmark was dealing with, an with injury. injury. Yeah. With an injury. So I look at this as, hey, if he gets a shot in the series to play, I imagine he will. Revenge should be on his mind. Look, if Sway needs a, a, a break yes. or, or you're just going to pick a game because this is what they've done all year, let's get Allmark in there, keep him fresh. When he gets in, he's got to play just as lights out as all those numbers you just gave Jeremy Swayman on. Allmark has to do the same thing. And I would think in his mind, hearing all the blame game from mm-hmm. last year, mm-hmm. when he gets in, he's going to want to shut these guys down.